Hello my dear friends, welcome back in MRI learning Today our step number 22 With the second part from the brain spot diagnosis Or the famous MRI brain sign Welcome and let's get started Learning objective from my presentation today is to be familiar with the famous MRI signs in the brain and subsequently get the final diagnosis in the split second. Let's start at our presentation today, which is representing part two from the first one. So we starting with sign six. This is an MRI examination with contrast in the coronal image. This is also MRI examination with contrast in the axial image. And this is another patient, three different patient with MRI T1 contrast study. The 10 seconds here for to get the diagnosis the, the sign first and the signs representing which diagnosis. The sign which appearing here is a dural tail sign, as we see here enhancing mass, which showing homogen homogeneous enhancement, and also have dural tail related to the dural based uh, regions in different site. For example, this region is the tentorial site, so this is representing a meningioma or tentorial meningioma and this is convexity meningioma with dural tail also and enhancing dural tail and this is another meningioma so also here in the convexity and uh, uh, the dural tail appearing in the convexity more than in the parasagittal region so we have different lesions with same dural tail enhancement this is dural tail sign representing meningioma in different places or sites. Sign 7. This is brain T1 without contrast for a pediatric age group. And also this is the same patient. Actually, the sign here is different and the sign is called a pancake sign or pancake brain sign. And this is represented due to fusions of the cerebral hemispheres in both sides. There are no interhemispheric fissure, as you see here. And also the ventricles, there are no septum bullosidum or midline structures. The ventricles are fused together also to form a monoventricle. And this sign is representing to this pancake appearance. So it is called pancake sign. In the pediatric age group, pancake sign is representing a luber holoprosencephaly. Holoprosencephaly have luber type, semi luber type, and a luber. A luber appearing as a pancake brain due to fusion of the cerebral hemisphere and also of the ventricle. And now sign 8, this is T1 as the subcutaneous fats appear the bright and the CSF in the spinal canal appear dark. However, this is T2 because the CSF appearing bright in the spinal canal and the subcutaneous fat is suppressed so this is T2 fat separation. And this is the lesion. What is the name of this sign? If you get correct name of the signs, you can make correct differential diagnosis for the lesion. This lesion has the carotid space and also extending to the jugular region. And these lesions have a high signal in the T2 
and there are multiple spots of signal void or low signal looks like this salt and paper salt and paper sign this is called salt and paper sign due to signal voids which representing vessels and another dots of high signal which representing hemorrhage or uh, uh, stagnations of the blood within the vessels at that lesions and this region is the carotid space and jugular space so when you find salt and paper sign it representing paraganglioma paraganglioma according to the site of the paraganglioma the name of the paraganglioma as this lesions which is called the glomus jaglotimbanicum paraganglioma And now is uh, sign number 10. This is T1 with contrast, and this is also another patient with T1 with contrast, different with different patient. And this is a sign which uh, noted in the retroorbital regions adjacent to the optic nerve. First of all, if you compare the retro orbital regions at the left side with the normal right side, the normal right side, the, there are CSF space or fat due to this is fat suppression. The fat suppression, see uh, the fluids appearing low signal in the T1 and the fat is suppressed. So this is T1 fat suppression post contrast study. There are no enhancing lesion here. However, comparing with this region, there are an enhancing lesions in both sides of the optic nerve and the optic nerve is appearing in in the center of the region with forming a track like this tram track sign and this is another patient which is showing also tram track sign and the lesion is homogeneously enhancing like this tram track sign so tram track sign like this also tram track representing which diagnosing this is the sign tram track as the optic nerve region representing optic nerve she is meningioma and now with the last sign today sign 10. this is mri brain in the t2 because the fluid CSF appearing bright signal and also subcutaneous fat is bright so this is the T2 MRI sequence this is also T2 the fluid in the orbit and also the fluid in the CSF appearing bright the fluid in the temporal horn of the lateral ventricles appearing bright in the sulci so this is the T2 and I give you 10 seconds to get the sign and which sign representing and also is the signs are appeared at the periphery of the image here you can pick one from these pictures to get the sign if you look closely to these bones this region of the posterior fossa so this is bones and this is the fourth ventricle and this is the cerebellum the bones have abnormal high signal in the t2 which looks like this abnormal high signal or on this suite and so this is called the hot cross pan sign hot cross pan sign this is the hot cross pan appearance and this is a sign which representing or resembling this sign and also this is another patient which is showing the same sign hot cross of abnormal high signal within the bones and this is a force of ventricle the cerebellum appeared atrophied also so there are a hot cross sign hot cross pan sign and this hot cross pan signs representing atrophy multi-system atrophy as a diagnosing if, if you find the hot cross sign
Well, I hope this lesson has helped to make a few things clearer for you. And if you have any questions, suggestions, comments in it in the uh, video uh, under the video, and also I would like to thank all my friends who helping me by suggestions uh, uh, through comments and also through any explanations for anything about my presentation. And you can follow me in the Facebook group. Uh, by the same name is a different radiology which I bought every day a lot of cases from my daily work case and discuss it with all my friends in the group uh, or you can also watch more than 95 presentations in the YouTube channel my by searching in the Google search same name is and different radiology I have also presentations every Wednesday like this presentations for MRI linear regression, Sunday for rapid review anatomy and the mnemonic word in Friday. Thank you very much and have a nice day.